tonight, an eight on your side exclusive. A St. Petersburg family is suing the prestigious Admiral Farragut Academy over what they say is an extreme case of bullying. A lawsuit claims administrators at Admiral Farragut knew about the bullying but did not stop it. The school, meantime, is firing back, claiming it did not happen. Jeff Patterson is live in St. Petersburg tonight. Good evening, Keith and Jen. This lawsuit claims this bullying was severe and was both verbal and physical and even caused an injury and that the school did little to stop it. Admiral Farragut Academy in St. Petersburg is a well-known private college prep school with grades K through 12. Sophia Dotton had two children enrolled here until her daughter ran into a bully. At first, it started out as just um, racial slurs. Um, he started threatening her and her friends, saying things like he was going to pull their weave out, um, saying the N-word. Dotton says she complained to the school, but instead of taking care of the issue, things got worse. And it got to the point where he ultimately put his hands on her. Dotton's children attended the school on a scholarship, and her attorney believes that's why the school didn't take action. They're willing to look the other way based on a student's skin color or the size of their bank account. Eight on your side reached out to Admiral Farragut Academy. A spokesperson told me Admiral Farragut Academy takes all allegations seriously and has the best interest of our students and families in mind. Attorney Mark Matthews says there are witnesses to the bullying. The school has a zero tolerance policy against bullying. But in this case, Matthews says the school didn't put an end to it because Dotton's child wasn't paying full tuition. Students going to school on a scholarship because they might not otherwise be able to afford to go to this school shouldn't have to sacrifice their dignity. They shouldn't have to sacrifice their self-respect. A spokesperson for Admiral Farragut Academy also told me today allegations concerning this incident were investigated and determined unsubstantiated. We cannot comment further on pending litigation. As I mentioned, attorney, the attorney in this case says he has witnesses and he will use them in this case. Reporting live in Pinellas County, Jeff Patterson, 8 on your side.